Okay guys, thank you for joining us this week here at Tiplo. I'm Danny Adams and today we're at Carden Park at the Jack Nicholas Design Course. It's a great venue, you should come and try it out yourselves. Great facilities, really high quality greens, bunkers are great. Um, I'm sure this video is going to really help you, it's going to be an interesting one. I'm going to give you some interesting drills and changes in technique that I really believe is going to help improve your own game. Let's get stuck in. Okay guys, thanks for joining us this week. Today we are at Carlin Park and Jack Nicholas Design Golf Course. And we're gonna look at trying to improve your ability to repeat the same stroke. Typically, I see a lot of players make great practice strokes, but when they actually set up to hit their putt, it's nowhere near a replicant of their practice stroke. And again, the best players in the world have a great ability and a great sensitivity of being able to make practice strokes when they set up to take their actual port and stroke, it replicates it, essentially. And that's what we need to try and do with you guys, is bridge the gap between improving your ability to make practice strokes and then just repeat that same feeling. So all you're gonna need, five golf balls. You take one golf ball, make a couple of practice strokes. And what I want you to do is you're gonna set up, just, just hit a putt out onto the green. Not really trying to get it into the hole or you know, just put towards anywhere. Now what you're going to do is bring up the next golf ball. You're not even going to look, you're just going to set up. And all you're going to do is try and repeat that same feeling. And again, I'm not going to look at all. Take another golf ball, set up to it, try and repeat that same feeling. Again, I'm not going to look again. I'm just going to bring another golf ball. And I'm just going to constantly try and repeat that first sensation until I get to the last golf ball where I can hit it, then have a look. And as you can see, the dispersion isn't that great there. So my awareness, maybe there's three that are bunched in together, but there's a couple that are, that are off, you know, there's a dispersion there of easily two, three yards. So again, my own ability to repeat the same feeling was quite, you know, it was off there. And that could be the difference between making putts and making three putts. So that's a great drill I'd like you guys to work on, is to take five golf balls, bunch them all together, hit one putt, have a little look, see where it goes, then the next four shots you're just gonna take and you're just gonna hit, not look where it goes, but your main intention is to repeat that same sensation, the same feelings, the same length back, the same amount of speed, and we're really trying to dial in on your sensitivity to be able to recreate the same feelings in your practice strokes. Because again, there's no point making great practice strokes on, your, on the green, and then when you set up to the ball, being too aggressive or too weak with the putt. We have to repeat that same feeling. So, hope you've enjoyed that video. I know it's gonna help you guys. Okay guys, thank you for joining us this week. I really hope you've enjoyed the videos. Try out the drills, changes and techniques. I really do believe it's gonna improve your game positively. Again, if you've enjoyed the video, like it, pass it on to your friends, try and help us get the subscribers up. Um, if anybody wants a personalized online instruction video, just go to my website, dannyadamsgolf.com. Get in touch with me, all you have to do is video your swing on your phone, it could be a putt and stroke, bunker play, chip and pitching, long game, driver, whatever it is you want. Just go onto my website, send me an email, and all you have to do is send me the video, and I will give you a free online instruction video, personalized to you. Hope this helps, and I'll see you next week.